Check, check, one, two, three. Hi. Hello, hello. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, Greg, I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Can you hear me and see me? I, I can do both of those, yeah. Awesome. I can hear you just fine and see you as well. <laughs> Hi, Greg. I think, I, I think we haven't met before. I think this is our first meeting. Am I right? Yep. Nice. Yep. Nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Uh, so let me, let me explain a little bit how this one-on-one -on -one meeting works, and, and then I would like to hear more about you. Sounds good. So, um, basically, the, the way the one on one meeting works is uh, I, I'm, I'm required by UDESI to record each of our meetings so that, that you're aware of that. Okay? okay? It's just quality assurance. And I, I basically fill out a, this, this little form where I ask you, how is your progress coming along? If we need to make any changes to your learning plan, and then we spend time just like with your questions or going over your code. And then we just ask you if you feel comfortable to move ahead, to, to move forward. So I've come, I've put together a small um, learning plan for you that I'm going to share after we end our call. And this is the one that we are uh, referring to when I ask like, uh, how's your progress coming along and if we need to make changes to this plan. And so that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. And basically when we reach this question is where we can go over your code or any questions that you may have. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm actually a data analyst, uh, but I've completed this course uh, and, and like every project of it. So I know exactly what you're going through and like all the questions that you have. I've, I've had them before. Uh, so feel free to ask you any questions that, that you, you may have. And just before we start with the questions, I would like to know a little bit more about you, like uh, what made you decide to join this program and how you're liking so far. Sure, sounds good. Uh, well, I, uh, uh, I'm a software developer. I have uh, been in the industry for about four years. I currently am a, a trainer for people uh, to become software developers. Nice. My company uh, takes people from all sorts of backgrounds, whether you have a college degree or not, and uh, uh, puts you through about a 20-week training program. Uh, full stack software engineering, and after that, we give you a full time job. Uh, so that's, wow, this is like a boot camp then, or it, basically, it's a uh, uh, it's different than a boot camp because we actually hire people directly after. Wow, that's cool. What's the name of the company? If, if Catalyte, I'm... yeah, Catalyte, C A T A L Y T E. Okay, Catal nice. I, I mean, it's pretty cool because, as you say, it's like a boot camp that you hire the people after training. That's pretty cool. Yep. Yep. So that's, that's what I do right now. I'm a, uh, I'm the, the lead trainer for uh, a nice again. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun doing that. <laughs> I'm, I'm interested in this course uh, uh, for two parts. Uh, one, I'm, I'm always been interested in data. Uh, I've done a couple of the uh, machine learning style courses. Mm -hmm. This one was interesting because it was a, a, a kind of the precursor to some of the machine learning courses, mm -hmm. uh, getting that data into a curated form. Um, so I wanted to, uh, to go through this uh, data engineering course for um, really solidifying some of my Python skills and then uh, uh, learning databases that I hadn't touched before, uh, such mm -hmm. as um, And then it uh, uh, looks like, uh, I can't remember if we dive into Spark. And, yes, we do. Yeah. Yep. And I think there's one other technology that I hadn't used before. Um, Maybe Airflow or? Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. So yeah, looking, looking forward to, to diving Diving into those and nice, nice. That was, well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Greg. Um, and I'm hoping you're enjoying the, the program. Yeah. And and well, let's dive right, right into the questions then. Uh, well, before we do that, the um, let me share with you the learning plan. Yeah. So this learning plan uh, basically has your starting dates, and mm -hmm. it has the content focused, um, uh, like is the progress that we expect you to make according to, to, to these dates. So yep. this is if you spend about two hours per day, okay? Yep. If you spend less time, you obviously are going to, be, are going to progress slowly, more slowly, but if you spend more time, obviously you're going to finish this earlier. Uh, here are the lessons, and when you see like a, this big gap with, with no lessons, it's, it's time to, to be working on your project. And here's the project due date, 
and so it's, it's pretty straightforward like you'll have all the lessons and you can you can customize this this is your learning plan mm -hmm. um and like you have all your projects too and then you change the unit this is the new unit so you change the color and it has all different lessons this is a big project so <laughs> you're, you're going to spend more time i mean you can see it right right from here yeah. so this is pretty like um a straightforward like an, an a bridge view of of the program all the units all the different projects you're going to turn in and the capstone project which is uh, going to be your, your final project okay Perfect. so today for example is november 2nd mm -hmm. um so you should be uh roughly finishing the first project starting with this with the second um part of the first unit yep. um so the the question would be like how is your progress coming along <laughs> Yeah, so, so I am done with that first project. Uh, nice. That one turned around and graded. Uh, if we have time, I do still have one, one question about that. Sure. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's passed. Uh, I've finished the, uh, all the, the lessons for uh, Cassandra and uh, nice. project requirements, uh, but haven't started it yet. But I will, uh, I'll have that done before the due date for you. Nice. So, so your project, your, your progress is going really well because you, you're, you're actually a little bit ahead of the schedule. Mm -hmm. um, November 2nd, you should be starting with the lessons, but you're done with them. So maybe you, you could be terminating the project maybe yeah. by the end of the week, by, by the end of the next week. So that, that's cool. That, that's great. Uh, so I personally don't think there are any changes we should make to your learning plan. I don't know if you no. know. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I uh, uh, I anticipate being done with the whole program uh, uh, probably late December or early January. Nice. Okay. I cool. think having a background in this kind of helps go through this. Program. I, I was going to tell you that, and especially like you are helping people become a, a software developer. Mm -hmm. Like you know how to learn, you know like yeah. how how you learn best, and 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 this is not your like first approach to this kind of technology. So I think you're, you you should be able to finish sooner. Cool. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Then when we want to third question, what can I help you with today? And that's basically when we talk about anything you like. Yeah. Uh, so the first uh, first one, let me see if I can uh, figure out how to share my screen here. Share. Sure. And then let me share my screen. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, Yeah, Greg, can you hear me? I think I lost you. I wanted to go back to one of the projects. Sure. Okay. Um, so let's go over to data modeling and then uh, Postgres. Let's see that one. Um, let's see here. I want to go to the workspace real quick. Uh, sure. I, I know you had you'd responded to me on uh, on. Uh, text about this uh about this question that i had um, but for the seek uh no let's see here uh i'll go to the etl uh notebook cool um so the question i had uh, was relying on the song place table uh right. so for the song place table we were supposed to be getting uh, song ID and artist ID uh, from the song and artist tables, right? right? And inserting these into the song place table, which is fine. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, in the instructions, it says uh, that we need to get those two things uh, based on the title, artist name, and duration of a song. Nice. Uh -huh. Now, for when I was looking at the the tables that I had available to me, uh, the song table as the song title uh, and also the, the song ID, of course, because that's the primary key. Right. As the artist ID, which is a foreign key referencing the artist, uh, uh, artist table. Mm -hmm. And then it also has the duration of the song in there. Okay. So I was, I was wondering why we even need to use the artist name to look up and retrieve the artist ID. Because in my mind, the combination of title and duration of song should be unique. Um, I, I think it is, um, but it's still, I think it's, it's, I mean, it's the, the, the artist of the song. I mean, this is completely a design decision. Uh, yeah. but, but I think like the, the, 
the artist that made the song is inherently connected to the song. So mm-hmm. I think it makes sense to have it in the in the table. I mean, you can make the case that for not to have yeah. it, and you can also make the case to have it. Yeah. Um, yep. But I think like the the bigger picture point that they're trying to show here is like uh, the artist ID is enough to have it. Uh, most people will try to put in that table not just the artist ID, but put more information about the artist, like the artist name, yeah. and they will have it repeated like several times. <laughs> like most beginners yeah. make that 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 mistake. Yeah. Uh, you're going even a step further, and you don't even want to include the artist ID, and 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 you can make a case for it. I mean. Uh, yeah, that that shows that you really understand like the, the main concept they're trying to teach you. That is, or oh, don't put information that we don't actually need there. Yeah, uh, do but, proper normalization here. Yes, exactly. Uh, but I mean, you can make the case to have it and not have it. Yes. For okay. Yeah, I just I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing something. No, 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 at all. No. I I, I get where uh, where Udacity is coming from here because uh, uh, it's a lot easier when you have one rubric and people have to to match. Right. Rubrics. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I get that. Uh, so okay, sounds good. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't wasn't uh, misunderstanding something. No, yet. at all, at all. Thank you for your explanation. No, no problem. Okay, uh, I think the only other thing I wanted to talk about today uh, would be um, actually uh, Cassandra. So what? <laughs> don't don't worry if you don't have a a, a full understanding here of uh, okay. how it works. I certainly don't. Uh, uh, but I was curious. Um, Cassandra's a columnar database, is that correct? right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So my understanding uh, at a high level of columnar databases is that they're used for data aggregations. Okay. Mm, I mean, ye, my, my understanding is more like um, it's query based. So it's yeah. like... Yep. So it's it's more to to really really quickly uh, have uh, get an answer from from a certain query. Uh, yeah, I mean, mm, I guess you could you could do aggregations more easily than than in a in a relational database. Yeah. Uh, but you certainly would have to um, have that that sort of query. Uh, like you, you have to think about it before you create the table. Like if you yeah. want that table to to handle aggregations, like that's the design decision they have to make before you make you create the table. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like these are uh, OLAP databases, really uh, suitable for the analytical processing. Um, when so during the uh, during all the videos, mm-hmm. uh, I I heard uh, or I, I was hearing a lot of terms about how each partition key uh, uh, represents a single node that data is stored on. Uh huh. Is that the nodes are those are those physical servers? So each partition key would have its own server, or is that uh, uh, within a single server there's multiple nodes? Uh, it depends on the on the um, on the service you're using. Okay. Uh, for example, for and, and you will see it when once you start AWS. So okay. for example, what what AWS does is, if, if you buy uh, like a Redshift, uh, it will tell you like, how many nodes do you want, and 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 yeah, basically you have like you you don't actually know how many computers you're buying. Okay. Uh, but they they tell you like how many nodes you you are you're actually using. Gotcha. Uh, so yeah, it, I mean it depends on the service you're going to use. Okay. No, that makes sense. Okay. Sounds good. Um, that's that's my uh, my content questions. I did. Cool. I, I have some feedback uh, uh, for for Udacity about this uh, data uh, engineering program. Uh, so when I when I signed up for it. Uh, in my regular Chrome browser, the mm-hmm. showed seven hundred ninety nine dollars. Okay. I if I open it up in incognito, uh, then it showed one thousand one hundred ninety nine dollars. Oh wow, that's a big difference. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. And then uh, when I actually purchased the course, uh, the of course the seven hundred ninety nine dollar version, uh, 
that I got, it had a single line item on it that said that the, the cost was $399 and that oh. this was $799. Okay, that's super confusing. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Did you take any screenshots of it, or? or I something? do. Yeah, okay, I, cool. I have screenshots. I actually have a. Um, uh, I can see if I can find it here. Um, I can. Uh, uh, if you'd like to see it, I can. Uh, uh, I can send you. Uh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, it, that'd be super helpful. Yeah. Uh, let me let me stop sharing real quick, and then I'll find it. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, my my company was going to be reimbursing me for taking this program, but when they saw that the price tag on the line item was actually $99, they, they didn't want to reimburse me the full $800. Oh, no. Do you need, do you need like, like a document or something? Because we, we can arrange that. I mean, well, no, I have a, I have an updated document now, but the, the problem is more that they already saw that it only costs $400. Oh. Um, so let me, uh, let me see where it's at. Let's see here. Um, there we go. I can find the screenshot. All right. So this, let me just download this one and then open that up in, the, in a better place to show it. Um, all right, launch. There we go. Share. I'll just share that photo. Okay. Um, yeah, so this was, uh, can you see my screen there? Yeah, sure, it, it yes. surely looks confusing. <laughs> yep, so that was, that was the receipt that I received. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, it's hard to explain. Yeah. Uh, and I, if, I mean, you, were you charged the seven nine nine or the yes, I, I had okay. to pay seven hundred ninety nine dollars. Yep. Okay, um, so I I just wanted to to provide this feedback. Uh, I assume, I mean, I already was in an email chain with customer support there. Uh, I my recommendation is that these receipts uh, uh, the the line item total matches the actual total. Sure, sure, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, it's yeah. But if you can share this with me, I mean that was super helpful. I can, yeah. I can, I can like send it to somebody else from my end as well. Yep, sounds good. I will, uh, I will send this to you uh, after we're done here. Awesome. And if it ever gets complicated because of this or, or, or anything, you need help in terms of getting a new receipt or something. Let yeah. me know about it, and, and we can we can definitely help with that. That sounds good. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right, that's uh, that's everything I had. Uh, nice, just uh, just a couple of things from my end. Then, yeah. uh, 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 where am I there? Okay, so um, yeah, uh, just so that you know, you have uh, here in this. Lab, can you can you see my screen? I can. Uh, okay, yes. cool. You have some extracurriculars that you have access to, uh, okay. like an intro to Python, SQL for data analysis, command line essentials, Git and GitHub. Mm -hmm. uh, these are basics and essentials, so you may not need them. Uh, I, I don't know your, how you are, uh, where you are in your Python or, or SQL, but mm -hmm. um, if you ever like feel you struggle with some of the concepts of these two, like feel free to come to this. Uh, use them more as a a, a menu like if you're struggling yeah. with certain concepts like then look for the concept and look for the for the video the that sequel course is pretty fun it's, it's a lot of fun but uh instead i, I would recommend you focus on the main course and yeah. if you need to like reinforce some of these concepts like we're here there for you um you obviously uh, know how to use the student hub i check that every day so if you have any questions feel free to drop the, your questions right there Okay. And I know you're doing this for the content itself and not, not necessarily preparing for like a, to, to get a new to, to, to yeah. start job search. But uh, here in this proof case, you have like access to a lot of career resources. Yeah. So, I mean, feel free to use them as well. It, yeah. it has some pretty cool stuff like resume reviews, uh, uh, some articles about networking and yeah. a personal pitch. So, I mean, it's just another resource that you, that you have for you that that is good to use. Yeah, awesome. I'll, uh, 
I'll, I'll be checking that out because it, it never hurts to do interviews. Just yeah. For yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I guess one, one other quick question. Uh, you were sure. showing these extracurriculars. Uh, so I, I looked into getting everything running locally on my environment at home. Okay. Uh, what do you recommend uh, uh, in terms of setup? Do you recommend uh, Conda for, for uh, uh, environment setup with Python? Or yeah, I use it for everything. I use yeah, Conda okay. for everything. It's super easy. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any uh, uh, good recommendations for uh, 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 managing Conda? Uh, like a, uh, a good website to, to use for getting started with it? Uh, I mean, I, I can look for one. The, the thing is, the, how it got is into using Conda was through Udacity. Yeah. Uh, it, like in the data analyst nano degree that I took. Yeah. Uh, so I think I can share that with you. I like it has like some pretty cool. Uh, okay. Like tips. Yeah. If there's any, if there's any external links, uh, I I can probably figure it out myself. But it's one of the things that I I provide for people as a trainer is a lot nice. of nice. Like here, go to this website, right? Nice. So yeah, if if you have any, I'd love to see those. For sure. For sure. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Uh, so it's a pleasure to meet you, Greg. Um, I, I'm going to share the personalized learning plan after we end our call. And just if you have any other questions, feel free to use the student hub. I check that every day and I know you're going to kill it with this program. So <laughs> awesome. I, 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 Thank I you. Have, your confidence. have a nice weekend. Yep. You too. Bye. Bye. -bye.